Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and I am back after several days of not recording a video because of course these days I work a lot. But I'm back for another mini haul video for you guys. Things that I picked up over the past maybe 10 days or so. So, and I say mini haul because it's not like mini figures like these here. Um, it's a mini haul because I only have a few things, but they are three pretty cool uh, things and they're especially cool if you're a fan of professional wrestling and WWE in particular. I got some WWE figures to show you today that I picked up. Really happy to have found these. Where did I find them? I have no idea because I've been too many places, but let's get started. First, found this guy at Toys R Us, the ringmaster Steve Austin. Now, a little wrestling history. Uh, this is the man who would eventually evolve into Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, this is, once again, this is from the WWE Network Spotlight series. And um, on the back, it just shows some information about him, uh, his height, his uh, signature move, where he's from, his debut. And basically, the whole thing behind uh, the ringmaster Steve Austin is when he first came into the WWE, uh, he was the ringmaster managed by the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. And he carried the Million Dollar Championship, which wasn't necessarily like a WWE uh, sanctioned belt, I guess. Uh, not something that many other superstars will try to get, like the Intercontinental title or the tag titles or the World Heavyweight title. It was just something that someone like a heel, like Ted DiBiase, would do. Make a belt himself. So, uh, he passed that on to Steve Austin. It wasn't a very... It wasn't a very... Uh, influential character he was never meant to be he was merely just meant to be a guy who was very good in the ring that other wrestlers could uh, perform with and put on some good matches but he was never meant to really excel much more above that but uh austin um let it be known that he can do much better he got a shot and as you know he blew up to be one of the most popular wrestlers of all time and they actually made an action figure out of him which was actually quite shocking um, and I think this is really cool for Mattel to have done, um, to have a character that was considered to be, you know, like a, a failed character, basically, um, to make a figure out of him, Steve Austin, with hair, as a character that, uh, you know, admittedly, through him, you know, wasn't a very good character and was a, a failed uh, experiment. So very interesting to have, to have him made into a character. Another one that I think would be pretty cool to make, Dr. Isaac Yankum. DDS. It's what it's what Kane was before Kane. So that's also very interesting. Next figure that I have here is the WWE Elite Series, the Ultimate Warrior. So he was the class of 2014, and he includes the WWE title, as you guys probably know by now. I love these belts. It is the winged eagle belt, but as you can see, it's not on the black strap. This is really more of a light blue is it teal is that the color that they refer to that as I'm not too sure but it's on this different color belt and i think that is really cool i remember i got this guy from target because in the united states it is a target exclusive and target once again was selling the hall of fame figures for ten dollars each and lucky enough inside of a target that i was uh, that i was in actually had one of these ultimate warriors so i got this guy for 10 bucks and i'm so happy if not just for the belt, but the Ultimate Warrior looks pretty awesome. Great face paint. Of course, he's jacked to the gills. Of course, he has to be. Um, he even has down on his boots the little multicolored uh, yellows and pinks and greens and all that good stuff. Really great. Um, and just glad to have added him to my collection of WWE figures with belts. Oh, and also uh, for the Ringmaster, in case you uh, don't have the Ted DiBiase uh, figure that also came with this million dollar title the million dollar championship is not made of like that shiny that shiny material like the other belts are made out of it's very it's a very matte finish looks kind of plain reminds me of like the chase belts that you find with some basic figures i really wish that they had made that shiny uh, I think it would have been a highly desired belt but it just looks kind of you know plain and generic but anyway Last thing that I want to show you guys, Shawn Michaels, Walgreens exclusive, WWE Elite, Elite, 
recollection flashback. So this is the second Shawn Michaels that I have. The first one I did a video on, I think it was another haul video. And this one was the uh, Toys R Us um, Shawn Michaels from the um, WWE Network Spotlight Collection. This one is from Walgreens. And you can see in the packaging, looks like he's gearing up for some sweet chin music. He's in his Degeneration X attire, so black and green. He also comes with a hat and one of those awful, awful plasticky, rubbery shirts that never quit, that never fit quite right because they look too bulky and everything. Uh, but yeah, second Shawn Michaels figure that I have, and I've actually been listening to the audiobook of his uh, of his latest book, Wrestling for My Life, which is very interesting. It's not necessarily a book about professional wrestling. It's really just a book of him. Uh, really just going over his his uh, uh, spirituality and how he got into that and, you know, how he used to live his life in a more of a negative way and how, you know, once he found religion and found God and how that changed his life and, and basically how that affected other aspects of his life. So it's a really, uh, it's a really good listen. Uh, if you don't want to read the actual book, you know, the audio book I'm still going through is a very inspiring and interesting story for uh, Shawn Michaels. Uh, seems to be in a really, really awesome place. I hope to find that same level of super happiness one day. Not that I'm not happy now, but, you know, can always be happier. Who couldn't be? So, yeah, these are the three figures that I have here to add to my WWE collection. Really, really awesome. Um, since I am hopefully going to be spending more time around here, at least for the next week or so. I'm going to try to see if I can find some more things to pick up, perhaps some more Funko Pops. Uh, I just have to kind of get my bearings and figure out like what's out right now that I really, really want. And I really need to jump on some of that Van Presto Dragon Ball Z stuff because uh, I've been looking at some things and I think it's about time I pulled the trigger on them. But that's all for this mini haul video. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back very soon. If you want to see me when I do come back, uh, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, I'm Jeremy and I'll talk to you later. Wait, hold on. It's not the end of the video. It is the very next day and uh, it's the morning. And I decided to come on out to Toys R Us. You can see there's the uh, cart return here. Toys R Us is over there, you can kind of see it, but I haven't been here in a couple weeks, so I decided, you know, I just wanted to see what they had, and I ended up picking up uh, this right here. So this is from the latest world of Nintendo line of figures, and this is Link from the Wind Waker HD. I was actually quite shocked. They had this, and they pretty much had the entire line uh, there. Uh, they had the white Tanuki Mario, they had Falco, they had Red Yoshi, and they had Link. I didn't see the Paratroopa. I didn't see that. But um, the other thing about this that I kind of just want to bring up real briefly is, once again, the prices of these are going up. If I can just bring out my receipt real quick. Let me see anything I want to cover up. All right. So, as you can see here... The price, $13.77. Original price, $12.99. So, yeah, the prices of these have also been raised at Toys R Us, and that is, uh, that's crazy. They used to be $9.99, and now they're, what was that, $12.99? Oh, boy. But this link does look pretty cool, though. I do like how bulky he looks and how stylized he is for the wind waker hd but keep in mind if you're going to get these at toys r us which is kind of like the best place to find these guys these days gonna to have to pay an extra couple bucks that's how it is